Hey yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Chad bringing y'all another video and in this video we're going to be talking about the demonic Olympic opening ceremony. Um, as of right now the Olympics has taken down the video and I believe they're going after people who are playing the video on like YouTube and stuff so I'm not even going to run the video or nothing like that. Um, but I was just on Twitter right and they were like look at the Olympics opening ceremony. And I'm watching the video because I'm not watching this on TV. I'm just watching this like off, you know, Twitter um, or X, as you want to call it. And I'm like, bro, this is demonic off rip. I'm looking at it like, are these trans people, the LGBTQ? It was feeling like a weird dystopian Hunger Games type of, you know, elites in the Hunger Games. You know how they were weird? It was like that. And then it went to the Last Supper because I'm looking. I'm like, why is the lady standing here holding like a heart and then it zooms out and i'm like they tried to recreate the last supper bro like this is blasphemous and demonic so you know right here we have the photos of it basically and as you see look it's like a one-for-one -one representation they can't say off this oh we just lined everybody up and told them hey stand here by this kind of table thing and do your own thing like no, they wanted to mock Christianity. And another thing, I don't understand why these elites or people in power, everything, only want to mock Christians. You know, I see a lot of Christians not even speaking about this. A lot of people in general are not talking up about this. And when I say a lot of people, I'm talking about the main people who are basically saying like the main people who support everything. Oh, support Kamala. Oh, support Biden. Oh, support Palestine. Oh, support Israel. Um, Oh, support, you know, this group. Oh, support Ukraine. Oh, you got to support this. You got to, oh, you got to support this movement. Oh, you got to do this and that. And no one's talking about supporting Christians when they have their religion basically mocked on the world stage. This Olympics is not just a local thing. Like, this is a world stage event. And Christians and everything are getting mocked. And I'm just like, people aren't noticing this. Like, this was, this is the... You know, when when people are like, how, I, I say to myself every day, how do people not see what's happening when it comes to politics um, and all the evil that they're doing and stuff like that? Because with politics, I, it is a little bit harder to like get rid of your bias or worldview and change it to find the truth and just, you know, support good policies and stuff. But when it comes to these type of events that are on the world stage, like, you know, the Grammys or Oscars, you know, when the Grammys did that year, I believe Sam Smith was doing all sorts of, he dressed up as the devil and was marching around. But the Olympics, which is in Paris and everybody sees, they they do this? I'm like, yo, like, look at this. What is this? Why is this dude, this dude was dressed like a woman the whole time. I censor him because his testicles were hanging out the bottom of his uh thing. Which is crazy because there were kids here. Like, they've shown videos of kids dancing with these people. And then they just mocked the entire Last Supper. And like I said, this doesn't happen to any other religion. It's just Christianity. And another thing that really makes Christianity true is just basically like Jesus said that, you know, they will hate you for my name's sake. They're not doing this. I mean, they hate Christians, yes, because obviously they're mocking it, yes. But... It's not even that they hate Christians just because we're Christian. They hate Christians because of what Christians represent, which is Jesus. They really hate Jesus. They hate God. They hate Jesus. They love their father, Satan. And every time I turn around now, it's like 2024, the veil's fully removed. It's like they don't even try to hide this stuff anymore. They just sit up here, do rituals in front of the people of the world. And you have people in the world who are still like, nah, 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 this isn't really like that. This is just artistic and stuff like that. And it's like, bro, at what point will we, you know, come to realize that these people, you know, I told people in politics, right? They're attacking Trump because Trump stands for freedom. He stands for, you know, the American people, different ideals like that. But they are literally trying to, like, they censor them. They try to throw him in jail. They try to assassinate him at this point. And I'm like, everything they're doing to him, you guys realize they're going to do that to Christians next. Right? Like, right now it's just politics. But it's, hap it's going to happen to Christians. And it's because... They do not like Jesus in the way Christianity is. Christianity, literally some of Trump's like policies kind of tend to lean more conservative. Christianity is really like a conservative kind of religion. 
And the way the world is going, they don't want things to be conservative. They don't like the things of God. They don't like, you know, marriage between a man and a woman. They don't like kids only having one one to two genders. You're the male or you're female. Um, you, they don't like that, you know, kids don't need to be taught about this nonsense. They don't, they don't like your religion. They don't like you and who you know lives in you, you know, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. They don't. And so they do these rituals and all this stuff, and it's just like, yo, they, I don't even see people talking about it, like I say. I don't see Christians talking about it. I mean, I see some Christians talking about it. I don't see any regular people talking about it. I mean, it's it's the same people who are getting upset during politics and the lies they're doing and the evil they're doing. They're the same people who get mad at this. Um, and it's only like a select few people are like truly aware and awake, honestly. And then I heard that right after this, that... You know, France had a power outage and the only thing that stayed lit was basically the church um, that was in that area. And people are like, you know, that goes to show that God's not pleased. And God wasn't pleased anyway with this debauchery and this foolery, putting this stuff on display. It's this stuff is just so evil, man. It Every day it becomes more and more evil. And I'm like, Jesus is on his way back. We're, we're already living in the end times. But, you know, when it comes to this stuff, I'm just like, man. I don't see how, you know, people see this stuff happen and are still like, oh, you know, it's just coincidence. Like, I don't know. Let me find this video real quick, though. Let me see if I can find. Um, here it is right here. So it says Paris at Paris outage light only at um, the Sacre Caru Church. We cannot make this up. So the whole place is out. Everywhere in Paris, France, besides this one place, which is the church. And, you know, people in the comments are like, incredible glory to God, um, return to God, Jesus, God is with us, sign from God, he will not be mocked. And that's very true, right? It's just like, eventually we got to start, we got to notice that this stuff is, it's basically, we're turning to Sodom and Gomorrah. Everything's able to go. Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, Sodom and um, Gomorrah, um, you know, God sent down brimstone, destroyed the whole place because there was so much wickedness in that day. And I feel like we're getting closer and closer. They're just programming people to accept this stuff, accept it, accept it. And they want the future to look like this. But in all honesty, I'm not really going for it. Um, and I'll call it out. You know, I had to come make this video because I couldn't just sit on the sidelines and watch this all just pass and just be like, Nah, we're, we're going to talk about it. But anyways, man, leave a comment down below if you guys, you know, have anything to say about this Olympic stuff. Um, I also saw there was a pale white horse they were riding on, which is the horse of death in Book of Revelation. So, you know, it's getting kind of crazy. And just to show you um, that horse, there we go. This was the horse um, from, you know, the Book of Revelations. Basically, the pale white horse they were riding in on. But yeah, man. You know, like I said, leave a comment down below if you guys have any. Um, as always, it's been your boy Chad. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.